Coast Guard picked up on some unusual activity a few weeks back. You know that scanner mouth? Yeah. It picked up on it too. Hmm. Huh. Feds, they're denying anything unusual as usual. God, that tonight be the night. Come on, where are you? Oh, it's hot. Hmm. Coincidence? You sound like Chip. Smart kid. Yeah, he's smart and stubborn too. You taught him a lot. Well, I hope it's enough. I don't exactly have the best track record, you know. Never too late. Well, aren't you the subtle preacher, Milo? Guilty. And what's that trash you're reading anyway? This trash was in your car. You gonna reach out? The old ticker won't let me procrastinate forever. Yeah, well, tomorrow is never promised. And always isn't truly forever. Oh, how poetic. That was pretty good. Sermon material. Never promised. Did you um, tell anybody you're coming out here tonight? No. Why? I'm just curious what your Sunday club would say. <laughs> Don't get salty now. Churchgoers are just trying to knit their faith together, like you. You know what? You got to admit, though. A lot of these stories in the Bible, they sound just like Close Encounters. You got people turning to pillars of salt, giants the size of trees, and then you got dragons and lakes of fire. <laughs> I mean, is that any harder to believe than some crazy little light in the sky? And then there's, oh, who's that guy, Enoch? Elijah. Elijah. Okay, yeah. Goes to heaven alive. Okay. How does he get there? In a flaming chariot. So what's that sound like to you? I know there are a lot of unexplained things in the Bible, a lot more than most people want to accept. I'll give you that. I would just like to see that thing one more time. I mean, a real close encounter. You've got two close encounters left on your bucket list. Yeah, the UFOs and want to. My daughter is a need to. To your close encounters. Milo, that's it, right there. That. What are you gonna do? Write it down. Get your camera. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Turn on! Turn on! Stupid camera! Milo! Harris! Oh no! No, oh, hang in there, buddy! Hang in there! Harris! Come on, fight, buddy! Fight! Fight for your daughter! know about the Hannah Swede who sells out stadiums and has sold millions of records. But who's the woman behind the star? Does anybody really care? We really do. What was it like where you grew up? I was a girl from a little town in northern Michigan. And nothing ever really happened there. That's why I left. Tell us about your parents. Mama was a folk singer. She even told me she played Woodstock, but I never saw any pictures or footage. Daddy was 
next soldier, he was Hannah. What did your father do? Hannah? He drank. You want to hear the truth about how Miss Hannah Sweet became America's sweetheart? I mean, this, this is a tell-all behind-the-scenes music piece, right? My father was a horrible drunk. He was abusive to me and Mama. And it got so bad. She went crazy and up and left us, left me. But that's how I got strong. And that's how I found the strength to be able to face bottom feeders like you who are trying to break a story. Okay, we're done. Well, here you go. No, no, it's okay, I got this. Turn them off. Wait, why? They want the details. I got the story. Can we have the stage, please? Now. <sighs> what? Tell me you can still perform tonight. You think I can't? Please. In my sleep. Don't you touch me. Get hair and makeup back in here and I'll get you some strong coffee. I don't need any coffee! And I ain't doing any more interviews! Get the cameras out of here! No one, no one goes near me! Marty, she can't afford to do this again. She's burned every bridge in Hollywood. This is her last second chance in Nashville. Just, just hang on. We've been through this before. I've got Trace Atkins on the phone. I, I know, just give us 20 minutes. Fathers eat sour grapes. Children's teeth are set on it. Don't! I was just trying to save your golden goose. I thought you were better than this. I am. So don't you dare talk down to me. You've got 20 minutes to get to rehearsal or they're pulling you. I'm, I'm not playing tonight. The setup is all wrong. The hired musicians are awful. Nothing I asked for happened. You don't get it. You can't keep calling the shots anymore. After you walked off your TV show, canceled the Grammys, cursed the Dolly. But if you screw this one up, we're both done. I'm just your job security. <laughs> I've given you 20 years of my life. I can't do this anymore. What are you gonna do, huh? You gonna go? Find some other starry-eyed, wannabe hussy singer to spew your Nashville nonsense. That's it. It's over. Well, you can't quit. Because you're fired. Get out! Get out! <laughs> Please. This is Martin? Well, what? I should have never gone to the crossroads. Hannah? Am I on? No, I, I can sing. I, I can. No. You got a call from Verna in Michigan. Your father passed. She wants you to go for the services. I'll have a driver take you back to the hotel. Go home, Hannah.
don't talk to the press. Oh, and stop calling me Miss Sweet. It makes me feel old. All right? So listen, did Martin call? Okay, I'm almost a lost heart, and I have no idea what the reception's gonna be like there. So just tell him a few days. I'll try you back in a few days. You ain't from around here, are you? No. But don't be touching the car. So this is the thanks I get. Working myself to death where you're out here making smoky eyes at the tour. This job because she knows we need the money. Are you saying I can't take care of my family? Mama! It's Ted! Hey, let her go, you drunk! <laughs> drunk? A bottle. It's the only thing that gives me love around here. No, Daddy. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry is for sinners. Miss, are you all right? Shouldn't you be looking for your mama? Hey, Mr. Potter, those eggs will be right up. Excuse me. It worked. What? I mean, you're here. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for Verna. Right. I'm sorry. I just can't believe that you're here right now. I, I'm her niece, and oh, I, I know who you are. Or everybody knows who you are, but and you are. I'm Elsie, uh, Verna's daughter. I'm your cousin. So is she here? Oh yeah. Uh, Mom's out back buying morale, so I can go get her for you. I'm really glad that you made it home. And I'm really sorry to hear about your daddy passing. We all really loved Pops. I'll be right back. No. I can't believe Harris left him the car. Listen, I saw Milo's picture. This is strange stuff. Well, here comes Mr. UFO right now. Where is that? Minister UFO. <laughs> Take us to your leader, Milo. <laughs> Did you get the probe? <laughs> Show some respect, fellas. Harris went to meet his maker that night. He's not even in the ground yet. Yeah, too soon. Too soon. Too soon. We're all very sorry about losing old Harris. I think it's gloomy, Milo. Do. The, the UFO, not Harris passing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, Anne wanted me to talk to you about shirts for the upcoming season at the gift shop. She said we could do postcards, stickers, pens, baby jumpers, uh, you know, what have you, with the UFO picture on, of course. Yeah. We'll see. Half the proceeds go back to the church. It's win-win. Shut up, Jim. Win-win. That beautiful car out there must belong to you. Figure that out all by yourself, did you? Fancy car, fancy lady. Welcome to Lost Heart. Welcome back, actually. Milo, um, Hannah's here. <laughs> yes, I, I know, we met, sort of. 
I'm, I'm Pastor Williams Milo. I sure have heard a lot about you. Hmm, that's usually the line I hear right before my lawyer has to take out a restraining order. I think you're safe. Uh, Mom left. You just missed her. She's at the house getting ready for tomorrow. You know, I'm heading over there after my coffee. If you want to just follow me? I think I'll just head out now. Well, well, wait a minute. Do you remember where the old Lewis house was? Yeah. Elsie, can I get that coffee to go? Be because that, that that's where she lives now. Hmm. I got it. Hannah. Hannah, wait up. Um, that's my boyfriend, Sterling. Mm. Sterling, sir. How's the fishing been? <laughs> I'm not coming Sunday, Milo. Book 50. I didn't invite you. Keep the change. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe she's here. I don't see what the big deal is. I'm gonna be famous. A singer just like her. I don't think just like her is a good thing. Morning, gents. My name is Niles Cass. I'm with UFO Worldwide. I was hoping I could ask you guys a few questions. No, I need a replacement car, like, now. Three days, you gotta, you know what, just never mind. I'll just get this one fixed. Classic, ain't she? Belong to your father. Great. Oh, dear. You have a spare? No, I don't. It makes me so God. Sorry. It's just pretty obvious God hates me. Is it? Oh, that's right. You're one of those so-called experts. Certainly no expert. Just a simple preacher of a simple church. And I, I used to be... Again, sorry. I think it's odd that we're so quick to invoke his damnation any time we do something clumsy or stupid. Maybe we should damn ourselves for our own lack of judgment and mistakes. Well, that's pretty cold for a priest or pastor or whatever you are. I wonder why we're not as quick to give him credit for the good things that happened to us. Hey, can I still catch that ride? Sure, hop in. Can you pop the trunk? Oh, yeah, sure. If I can find the latch. Yes, we can. Chippy, how you getting by today? Getting by good. This is an enhanced tough foot net. One inch mesh, strong. Allow me to introduce it's you okay, to- It's okay, man. I got this. You have dark lipstick. You have Down syndrome. I like her. You can call me Chip, Chippy or Pixie Daddy. Oops, sorry. I was making a batch of my secret Bigfoot bait using honey and cat food. If you just tell me the ingredients, is it still a secret? You have a trusting face. Hey, Chippy, you do know who this is, right? Of course. If I didn't, people think I was retarded. <laughs> 
Hannah Elaine Howard, better known as Hannah Sweet. You're my world famous stepsister that I've never met. On the Burleson side, going in. Thanks, Chippy. Thanks, Chip. Big seat, Daddy. If you um, need to take a moment, I'll go see where Verna is. No dinner? I, I was practicing. I, I was gonna get to it. I promise. I promise. Singing I is for angels. You ain't one. <laughs> Didn't make you sneak up on you. I'm normally pretty good at it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Read the shit. What happened? Spit happened. Why would she do that? She never knew the Harris we knew. A clone? No, not exactly. Before a man has faith, he's, he's like a ship lost on the, the big lake without a lighthouse to, to guide it. That's pretty good. What, you, what you, ship, lighthouse. The lighthouse represents love. That's right. Just because I have Down syndrome doesn't mean I don't understand allegory. Oh no! What? Was that Hannah? Not the welcome home I was expecting. Oh no, I quit a long time ago. Not soon enough. I shouldn't have come. Well, I was prepared to disagree with you. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think it would all come back so quickly. I wasn't ready. 30 years? Still not ready to visit your favorite aunt? <laughs> There's that smile. Sweet talk. <laughs> oh, you know I always hated that name. Sweet tart. You must not hate it that much, Miss Hannah Sweet. <laughs> I came back to see you and Mama. But not him. Well, I'm just thrilled you're here. Is she still spitting? No. I don't want her to spit on me. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's good. Good. I was trying to wipe Pop's face off after. Well, now Pop looks like a crying clown. <laughs> oh, no. It's all right, let's go see what we can do. You'll be okay here? Tell Werner I'm, I'm going back into town. Sure. Oh, in my car? Heading to the shop as we speak. I told him to get it fixed. It might be pretty expensive, but I figured you could afford it. <laughs> That's fine. And thanks. Good 
Good morning. Um, my name's Niles Cass. I'm a journalist. Oh, a journalist. Yeah, I, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about Harris Howard. I heard that you were married to him before. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I must say, you look much too young to have been married to a man his age. Oh, well, thank you. Um, won't you please come in, Mr. Cass? Don't mind if I do. Well, thanks to a little makeup, I got Harris looking a little better. Why is he in the house and not at a church or funeral home? He wanted it like his great-grandfather Pike's parlor funeral, who, incidentally, got up after two days, so. So it was creepy in the late 1800s, and it's even creepier now. Mm -hmm. You don't trust me with the prepping. No. You know, Mama used to do that. I'm just not sure all that highfalutin living you've been doing has affected your culinary skills. She's still doing all right? She is strong as an ox. You know, she said she sent you hundreds of letters. Hundreds. Are these even safe to eat? She's been eating them for years. Well, that explains a lot. Is she coming tomorrow? I don't know. She hasn't forgiven him. I think it's more the not the socializing sort than the forgiven. So has she? Maybe you should go see her. One, two, three. Yes! Keep practicing. Too much makeup covers your natural beauty. Um, not one for letters, huh? Too much family, I suppose. I'm sorry. I thought I'd never see you again. Groceries. My smokes <laughs> from Aunt Verna. Your place, it's uh, it's a charming dump. <laughs> Come on, let's walk, baby. Oh, you smoke pot now? Oh, yeah, it's legal in Michigan. Yeah, I'm not, not really sure that's true. And as I give you the green plants. So I give you everything. Genesis, in the Bible. No law is higher than God's law. Plus, it's good for my cancer. Wait, what? You have cancer? That's what they say. Six months to live. Oh, Mama, no. Now that was six and a half years ago. I feel great. 
by God's grace and with my Geritol Kush, I'm not going anywhere soon. Want some? No, thanks. So, what happened here? The park and... Oh, it's splendid, isn't it? It was all uh, thickets and thorns. You aren't seriously thinking about being buried next to him, are you? Come sit. I feel like I'm back to the future with his name everywhere. What are you gonna tell me next? They have a statue of him in the town square or something? He won a good amount of money in the lottery scratch off. And he bought Verna the old Lewis house and fixed it up. And he started a conservation club and the park and a few other things. And they gave him a statue in front of the library. You gotta be kidding me. That drunk got lucky? He hadn't touched a drop in 25 years. Actually, he was trying to make me stop drinking for the last 10 years or so. And uh, we probably would have moved in together again, except he said he didn't want to live with the drunk. He already done that long enough. And uh, after the institution, I don't go anywhere, so. He would bring takeout over and he'd fix up the dining room all fancy and we'd play music and dance and um, he brought people over and we played bingo and even prizes and everything. I don't know, how, how did this happen? Jesus calls it repentance. Are you drunk? I mean, like right now? No. I put this in my letters. I spent my entire life hating that man. And, and I'm, I'm mad. Good, let it out. I'm mad at you for leaving us. How could you do that? He threatened to kill me if, if I took you away. And, and that's why he committed me to that awful place. I, I did, I was young and naive and I was so scared. You were young and scared. I was a child. I know. That's it? That's all you have to say? <laughs> Be patient. I'm gonna end up just as crazy as her if you don't knock this off. She ain't crazy! Don't you I'm sorry. dare! I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry is for sinners. But only God can forgive them. Obviously not very lucky. Why is it taking so long to fix a flat? Oh, well, it ain't just a flat. Um, well, if I could see the mechanic, maybe I could talk to him and we could get- You're talking to her. I'm sorry. I'm just having a really bad day. I know, I saw your viral video. Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone I'm working on Hannah Sweet's car. Mechanics code. <laughs> So uh, that rock dented your rim, and those kind of aren't available around here. So we had to send out for it, be another day or so, but I'll let Milo know as soon as it's done. Okay. You know, uh, there's a reason for all this. I mean, I'm just 
poor girl from Detroit. Couldn't afford my dream, so I learned to trade. But here I am. I got a chance to meet you here in my garage. Blessed is better than lucky. Thanks, Ken. Interesting. Paparazzi. See? Hey. Hey, can I have one of those? No. Why not? Because they aren't good for you. Can you smoke them? Yeah, well, I do a lot of things that aren't good for me. Yeah, at least you get to do what you love. Go to exotic places and meet famous people. And sing. You know, I sing too. Is that right? Yeah, I wrote this one song and they might play it on the radio. I could sing it for you. Sure. Northern lights are burning stronger. It fills the space between the way. I can't stay. Here any longer I miss the pines beyond the lake I'm going back to where I come from Hey babe It's really nice Do you think that I could ever make it? Like what? In the music business, like you? You don't want to be anything like me. But you do have talent. So where am I dropping you? At the motel. Oh, nonsense. Mom wouldn't have it. Just come with me to Elma's for dinner. Guess what? Hannah says I have talent. <laughs> Maybe enough to make it. <laughs> well, we already knew that, sweetie. Mm-hmm. Glad you made it. Come on in. This stew is going to be delicious tonight. These mushrooms are from my garden. Speaking of mushrooms, I had some reporter from UFO Worldwide stop by the tavern this morning. Handsome, adventure-looking type? Yes, he was here, too. Why would he come here? Oh, she doesn't know. Know what? Uh, um, Harris died watching a UFO. Chip calls it a UFA. Oh, what? An unidentified flying <laughs> angel. Yeah. I thought you said Harris quit drinking. Not a drop. Milo was there. He caught some pictures. Y'all have been stuck in Lost Heart way too long. Harris was very well respected in the UFO community. Not so much in the church community. <laughs> yeah, but that's mostly on account of his occasional swearing during church services. <laughs> yeah. 
Must be Milo. What is that tune from again? Closed Encounters? Yeah. Closed Encounters of the Third Kind. Hey, you ever seen a UFO or? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> I just need to get some air, excuse me. Oh. I mean, UFAs, angels, not objects. I still can't believe that she's here. We meet again. Yeah. And here I thought you'd be out looking for a little green man. Heard about that, did you? UFOs. UFAs. Uh, unidentified flying... Angels. Yeah, yeah, I heard all about it. And you accept that? I mean, as a minister? Well, it's as valid, I guess, as any, I, I suppose. Is it? Mankind has been staring at lights in the sky for millennia, trying to make sense of things that are beyond our capacity to know. Who's to say how God reveals himself? Like Elisha saw the angels. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Like Elisha saw the angels. The army, the angels, the mountains. Nobody else saw them. What are you up to, Aunt and Sweet? Hannah's back. This is prime time Bigfoot signing hours. Okay, well, I'll be careful. I'm gonna walk the perimeter, check my beat. Cookies and milk. Bigfoot and Santa Claus have nothing in common. <laughs> He's quite a character, huh? He's come a long way. He had a rough childhood. Chip was abused physically by his father. Until one fourth of July, Chip's dad was... He liked to party. Things got out of hand and his dad put an ax through his uncle's heart. Tried to kill Chip as well. Chip ran off. His dad was sent off to prison for life. And no one wanted to take Chip in. So they put him in the state home where Harris used to help out. Harris started giving him odd jobs around his house and Chip just kept coming over. Eventually Harris took him in and adopted him. Stepsister. I think he understood the demons that plagued Chip's father. Maybe it was his own atonement. So where will he go now? Verna gets custody. Hey, Sterling. You are Elsie sorry? Yeah, I think so. All right. 
you're done. He's a bit unfriendly. I think he's just worried about Elsie. I'm gonna go check on Chip. Creepy, ain't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Two more days. Be all over. Be soon enough. Hey, Chip. How goes it? Slow. Something smells. That's me. The bait. I see. Question. Devil's Crossroads. Do you know it? I know some kids got into trouble bridge jumping when that Chapin kid broke his leg. Not jumping, selling souls. Like the Ralph Macchio movie with, with guitars? Kids in town was talking about it. Told me to train my soul to not be Down syndrome. What did you say? I told them to stop being retarded. I don't want to train with the devil but I did get thinking maybe Bigfoot will hang out at the crossroads. With the devil? Why? Who do they serve? Those are questions I plan to ask upon meeting one, providing communication can be established. <laughs> Come on, let's get you cleaned up. Yes. I had to pee for half an hour. <laughs> let's go then. I just don't think I can do this tomorrow. Sit there and watch a bunch of people grieving and celebrating a man who isn't even worth remembering. You know it's not all about you, right? He wasn't only your dad. He was my brother. He was like Chip's father. He was Milo's best friend. Around here, he was a lot of people's favorite pops. So I'm sorry what happened to you. But those of us who knew him after he changed deserve a chance to remember him well. We're so glad you're back, Anna. I'm so glad you're back. I am. But is it right to deprive us of grieving? in order to protect your past? So you're just gonna forget about the life that we have? Our plans, the shop! <laughs> Bear your noses, I'm coming in! I don't want to own a sports store. Since when? Sterling, I don't like fishing or hunting. Don't say something that you can't take back. I'm not going to be a waitress for the rest of my life. Babe. I'm gonna sing. It's not just fishing stuff. It's custom-made rods and hand-painted lures. It's high art. Something stinks. Oh, oh, he's turning. You better get some Febreze up in here. It's starting to stink. Ah! Thanks a lot, Miss Country Music Star Hannah Sweet, for coming back here and ruining my life! Darling, what's going on? Your preacher won't fix this, Milo. Come on, babe. Let's go inside. Okay, let's get you all cleaned up. Ugh. Why does the bait stink so bad? I bury my cat food in a Ziploc bag for two weeks before using it. Well, that explains it. Elsie is going to ruin this. Isn't he a little old for her? How old was that young country singing hunk you were with a few years back? I don't think he could even grow a beard. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into him lately. It's like he thinks this place is heaven or something. Well, what has gotten into you? Ooh, I feel women talk coming. I'm out of here. He really loves you, you know. Do you love him? Of course I love him. But this town, Michigan, 
never gonna have a chance at a real music career here. Well, all the success in the world ain't gonna be a thing unless you got somebody to share it with. Excuse me, y'all. She's pretty great, Harris. Edgy, but great. What's the matter? I'm going to miss Pops. <laughs> I wanted to apologize again about the whole spitting thing. I understand. I accept your apology. He was the best pops I ever knew. Followed closely by Milo. What are you gonna miss about him? Fishing. We would go fishing all the time. Most of the times he caught more, but sometimes I would. He would never yell at me. My dad yelled a lot. He let a lot call me things. Pops used to tell me that my dad was just a loving soul, trapped in a hateful man. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I can certainly relate to that. Pops must be very happy in heaven. Yeah, why is that? Because you came back. We have a really big day tomorrow. <laughs> so you need to get some sleep, okay? I will. Good night, brother. You too. Aw, you call me brother. Well, of course. That is what you are. Mm. I thought you answered my prayers by bringing Hannah back. But what if it wasn't you that gave her that life? I'm confused. I love Sterling, but how could I ever make something of myself here? I... <sighs> Chip, you scared me. Who are you talking to? God, or so I thought. I'm sure he heard you. I was making sure you're okay after Sterling. I'm fine, it was just a fight. He didn't hit you, did he? No, never, he's a big teddy bear. Good. I like teddy bears. Chip, do you know Oak Crossing? Over the Oldwood Bridge? A place kids called Devil's Crossroads. They say you can sell your soul there for whatever your heart desires. Who would want to do that? Me. Or, I haven't. But I want to be famous, like Hannah. Only, I think Hannah did it. I don't know, I saw her at the crossroads tonight and... Marlo and I were just talking about that place. Maybe he can help. No, don't tell anyone. I'll figure it out. Just forget I said anything, okay? Promise? Okay. Morning, Milo. Morning, Alma. You know Niles? Oh, yes. Um, may I have a word with you, Mr. Cass? Sure, sure. Why don't you go on ahead and uh, I'll catch up to you. Okay. Before you say anything, she invited me. There's no story here. None. Oh, my. It's uh, famous UFO hunter Harris Howard's wake, and his daughter just happens to be the country music star Hannah Sweet. Right. No story here. I told you I would think about letting you publish the photo. Yeah, and you should. It's a fitting tribute to a fine man. Look at I'm gonna get the guest perspective on Harris. Bet you they got a lot of interesting stories to tell. What'd I tell you about wearing all that hoary makeup? 
I'm playing at the tavern. You ain't never gonna be no country singer. Did you hear me? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. for sinners. I know. Only God can forgive me. I keep telling you, beauty like yours don't need no fancying up. I thought you weren't coming to this. Well, I wasn't, but today is about letting go. I let go of him a long time ago. No, not, not of him, uh, of myself. I, I don't go out because I'm afraid of what everyone says and I hate that it's all true, but I let it define me for too long. And suddenly you don't? I can't change the past and I can't control what people say. I'm just happy my daughter's home and I'll take anything I can get. If you can be here, I can be here. And I made a cucumber salad mm -hmm. and a fudge assortment. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, there's people here, so come on, finish up. Okay, if I, if I could get everyone's attention, we can begin. I want to thank you all for coming out this morning. We've gathered here today to celebrate the life of Harrison Howard. Harris was one of a kind. Like many of us, he, he had his struggles, but he showed that love can transform anyone. And he became quite a passionate resident of Lost Heart conservationist, an outdoors man who spent many a day with his son Chip dropping a line or watching the skies for all sorts of UFAs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but Harris now finds himself on a new adventure. All his pain, sorrows, and sins of the past forever washed away as he walks hand in hand with his creator. The family has elected to just have a moment of silence to begin. Thank you, thank you. Say your final goodbyes to Harrison's earthly shell. Rejoice in his new life in the hereafter. Mind if I join you? Please. Thanks. Mm. So, uh, that Sterling, he doesn't like me, not one little bit. That's not you. It's not? Because it, it feels like it's me. I mean, he did say that I ruined his life, and he's glaring at me right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's me. He hates that Elsie wants to change her life to be like yours. Even more so now that you're here. She wants to get out of Michigan into the fast life. Sterling wants nothing more than to stay right here where he's peaceful and, and content. But she's... Like me, yeah. Speaking of that, I, I did want to talk to you about something oh, personal. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, just just a moment. Uh, okay. Uh, just happened to have sold my soul to the devil's girl, but no big deal. I can wait. For 
better or worse, Harris. Maybe on the other side, we can dance without stepping on each other's toes. <laughs> In the region where the roses always bloom, Breathing out upon the air their sweet perfume. There's a dusky maid I long to call my own. For I know my love for her will never, never, ever die. Do you think Hannah's going to be okay? We'll see. Yeah. Men! Don't worry about it. Men can be like that. It's not just that. Have you ever wanted something so badly you'd give up almost anything to have it? I have to tell you something, a secret. Do you know Devil's Crossroads, down by the old bridge? I sold my soul to the devil to become like you. What? I just, I wanted so badly to get out of Lost Heart. I wanted to sing to be a country star like you. Elsie. Should I not do it? I mean, does it even work? Is there a way to reverse it? Oh. Hannah, what should I do? Oh no. Um, Okay, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll figure what, it out. What, is it permanent? Hey! Hannah! 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 How about a little bit of respect here? Picture. How about some pictures? Get out of here right now before I take your cameras! Wait, go on. Sorry about the disturbance. Miss Howard, you all right? I don't think we've been properly introduced. Yeah, I know who you are. You do? Here to make a quick 10 grand, digging up a story on my estranged UFO chasing daddy. Uh, no. Really, 10,000. No. Just leave. Hey, I didn't come here for you. You came as a guest of my folk hippie mama. Keep digging. And maybe the tabloid have paid 20000 You don't know me. Why are you judging me? Didn't you see me chase off that low-life paparazzi back there? That was me. I know a media hound when I see one. You know, as much as I should be flattered by the fact that you consider me media, I'm not a tabloid reporter. I'm a scientific journalist. No. I just happen to study some topics that are on the fringe. <laughs> fringe topics? Yeah. You mean made-up nonsense? Like selling your soul at the crossroads? Hmm? That's not any of it. Listen, I've documented everything. Bigfoot sightings, ghost hauntings, mothmen, and yes, UFAs. Pretty sure the devil's not real, but Chip seems to think there's some connection between the two, so. Okay, but Chip is rich. Whoa. Chip is honest, right? That's what you were going to say. You know what? It's real nice meeting you, and, uh, I'm very sorry for your family's loss. Real charming, Hannah. Real charming. Love the suit. Mr. Katz, I assume you are unaware of a UFA landing site in the woods. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not aware of that. I could show you, if you bring your camera. Meet me at the old road. Yeah, I'll bring my camera. What road are you talking about? <gasps> Business card. I'll contact you. I'm sorry for your loss. Hey, Tip. You good? I would say better than good. Well, what were you and Mr. Cass talking about? Stuff, I guess. Just stuff. I want some watermelon. Okay.
Oh, sorry. I, I didn't think anyone was still here. Oh, I heard from the shop. Your wheel came in and they're fixing it so you can pick it up at the garage in the morning. That's great. Thanks for taking care of that. Uh, listen, I, I did want to talk to you about something spiritual. Oh, but yeah, I remember. Sorry I got pulled away earlier. It's okay. Um, first of all, it's personal. This, this stays just between you and me, okay? That comes with the job. Let's say someone wanted something so bad they would do just about anything to get it. Like things they're ashamed of to get ahead in the whatever industry one might find themselves in, but like using their body to- No, no. Like selling their soul to the devil at the crossroads. <laughs> That's what you did? Um, look, uh, it's Elsie. Hey, she, she just wants to be so much like me. We just need you to reverse it. I don't mean to laugh. It just sounds a bit far-fetched. What, you don't believe in the devil? No. I believe he exists, but I just don't think that... Okay, we just, we need you to nullify it or, or do um, one of those exorcisms or something. Selling your soul is a cautionary tale to scare kids from, from bad decisions and keep them saying their prayers. But if one chooses... Okay, I cried my prayers to God every single night. I prayed for my mama to come back and for my daddy to be sober. But you know what? He never answered. So I went elsewhere. But your mama is back. Harris did get sober and turned his life around. Never mind, you just don't get it. <laughs> I don't think you get it, Hannah. He answered you. What? With lights in the sky? You know what? Just forget it. I'll just do it myself. Wait. Went elsewhere? You ain't never gonna make it as a singer. Stay away from me! You dump my stash, I break your strings. You don't need it! You don't know what I need. I needed your mama, but she left us because of you! Well, now I'm leaving because of you! Hannah. Hannah, wait, don't go! I'm. Hannah, I'm sorry! Sorry's for sinners, Dad! I wonder if God will forgive you! Hannah! 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 Oh, careful now. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Right, well, you did a little evil Knievel stunt on your bike there, but I don't see any blood or broken bones. What are you doing? I told you, I'm a scientist. There's some interesting energy readings around here. Some odd weather patterns, too. What are you doing out here? Uh, nothing. N nothing? Okay, well, how about you let me give you a ride home, because your bike doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Um... No, wait, can, can you give me a lift back to town? Sure, you can do that. Come on. Oh. I'll get your bike. Not a problem. Uh, part of your bike. Can I ask you something? Let me guess. What us two normal, good-looking people are doing in Lost Heart? How can you 
can you believe in all these mystical conspiracies? Well, but I like to believe that maybe it's more. You know, maybe it's supernatural. See this? 20 years ago, I was embedded with the jungle tribe overseas as a journalist. Well, there was another tribe more powerful, and they wanted to wipe them out simply because of religious differences. Of course, I find myself stuck in the middle of this. We're surrounded, we're outgunned, and I'm thinking, this is about the end of Old Nile's cast, right? So anyways, the entire village goes to this little hut that they use for a church, and they get down on their knees in the dirt, and they start praying. I mean, really praying, not like anything I've ever seen before. And I know you're gonna think I'm making this part up, but I'm not. All of a sudden, out of the clear blue, comes a storm. I'm talking about lightning. I'm talking about hurricane winds and torrential rains and everything, but not over our village, all around it. Then we look up, and in the sky, there's a circle of light. And the villagers called it the hand of God. All I know is when we went outside, that other tribe was nowhere to be found. I mean, they've been completely wiped out. It's like some Old Testament stuff for sure. Wow. I don't know, it's the strangest thing I ever saw. Is that why you chased this stuff? Well, after that experience, it's my purpose to sift through all the crap and try to find the truth. And you know what the truth is, Han? I have to hit the head, so I'll be right back. Hey, Sterling, how about hitting us with a couple of your best IPAs and whatever Nashville there wants to drink? Let me guess, splash of cranberry with your vodka. You know, I never claimed to be a role model. And up until 48 hours ago, I didn't even know who else he was. But I sure wouldn't want her to follow in my footsteps. So I'll tell you what, why don't you just relax, go get me my drink, and then you'll never have to see me again. Well, you're not gonna go to the funeral? Why would I? <laughs> because your family needs you. Elsie. Elsie adored you, and you don't give up on family. You really care about what Elsie wants. <laughs> kidding me? I love her. She's special, you know? She's beautiful. How is she beautiful? She's funny. Her laugh. She can sing. I'm just scared to death of losing her. She's destined for far greater things in my simple life. <laughs> I'm so stubborn. And I owe you an apology. You caught the business end of both of my barrels and I'm sorry. Hey, Sterling, how about we get some grass-fed beef to go with those IPAs? Yeah. You know the kitchen's closed, but I'll cook and clean up. Right back this way. Just show me where the stuff is in the freezer, and I'll cook for you. Hannah. What if you stayed? Help me find. Hang my head in times of trouble. 
came in late last night. She wouldn't say goodbye? I can't believe she left. Thanks. You really not staying? There's nothing for me here. Girl, I've heard your songs, and it sounds like everything you need is I saw a UFO last night. Well, UFA. Oh, that's an angel, not a king. I can't stay here any longer. I miss the pines beyond the lake. I'm going back. to the world what you ask doesn't the son pay for his father's sins no the one who sins is the one who dies the son shall not be punished for his father's sins nor the father for his son but if a wicked person turns away from all his sins begins to obey my laws and do what is just and right, he shall surely live and not die. Okay. Forgot my makeup. All his past sins will be forgotten. He shall live because of his goodness. Amen. Are you all right? I heard about your fall. I'm really sorry about what I said. Sometimes I struggle with the deep stuff. But I, I, I want to help you. It's too late for me. But not for Elsie. There's got to be something you can do. I mean, that is what you're selling, right? Salvation. Church has to be more than just bad jokes and bake sales. I need, we need action. Do you believe we'll forgive you? I, I mean, Elsie, if, if she repents, will God forgive her? Well, of course. She's just a kid. <laughs> Desperate. Starve for attention. He forgives worse than that, right? I mean, everybody's talking about how he changed daddy. How, how could he do that? Mr. Cass. Chip Howard. Yes, I remember. Meet me at the river park tonight at 11 o'clock, sure. Bring your gear. All right. 
Done deal. I'll be there. Cool. you came back. I can't let you make my mistakes. We're gonna meet Milo at the crossroads tonight. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I'll forgive you. Can we go now? I hate polyester. Yes, we can go. Oh, please forgive me. Hey, you want to ride? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You too, Mama. Yeah, and I'm even gonna let you drive. What? Uh huh. Uh -huh. What? Come on. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm Hannah Sweet. <laughs> and this is my nasty car. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> oh, I don't know how. <laughs> oh no. Come back to you. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> now push your clutch in. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Hi, I wish you could have known him before he got himself hooked on the devil's drink. You know, our father used to beat him when he drank. Never touched me. But I think he beat the loving out of poor Harris. Oh, Hannah. He was the sweetest loving boy. I'll spare you the mushy details. Ironically, losing you is what triggered the change. I wish I could have seen that. I know. He, he lived a lot of good years as a better man, but the way he treated you, he carried the shame of that every day. It's not easy to live that way. And he stopped going to church because he said, <clears throat> my sins dirty up a beautiful place. And he had the occasional cussing outburst, yeah. so. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that he thought that God forgave him? Yeah, I think so. And I think that's how he learned to love again. Oh, yeah. And then that UFA came. give up everything to make my dreams come true. I just want to help people. Even if it's not through singing. Elsie, I've been thinking Goliath, the one that Devin fought was a Bigfoot. No, he wasn't. People don't believe. Really tall. Check. Really mean. Check. Big feet. Check. Hey, what are you doing? You'll see. I'll take her out there, read these verses, and tell Satan to get behind me. I'll anoint her with this oil, she'll repent, and we'll be good to go. Hmm? The hunt is on! I'm sleeping. That's good. Hannah, I'm scared. Yeah, no, it's gonna be okay. Just stay together. This is crazy. I guess UFO and Bigfoot hunting was crazy too, but the Devil's Crossroads? We need you to overcome. Right behind the graveyard. 
out towards the wood bridge. Yeah, I've been out this way. You didn't see the devil, did you? Or Bigfoot? Can't say I saw either of them. How much further to this landing site? <clears throat> Milo! Oh! 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 You're scaring me to death. Oh. Hey, I'm really sorry about all of this. Oh. And I really appreciate your help here. Oh, of course. Happy to help. Okay, let's walk on down over there. What's that? Anointing oil. It, it's for the undoing. Are you sure that's gonna work? Of course. Did you hear something? Kind of. It smells like death. Wait a minute. What is that? I think this might do the trick. What the heck is that? Almighty God in heaven, we bring your daughter before you in humility and ask that you release any hold the devil may have over... You first? Hannah. And as she commits to you a life in repentance... Uh-oh. Uh, quick, finish. That scared the heck out of me. What was that? A manufactured growl that is likely to represent an actual Bigfoot. What is that? Aged cat food and honey. Well, it stinks. Oh, God! Uh, th that's, uh... Can we get out of here? Wait, we have to do Elsie. I didn't do it, okay? What? It was for you. I did it for you. Let's get out of here. You hear that hollering? There was no landing site, was there? That's a negative. But you could capture the first really good Bigfoot picture. Come on! Lock the door! So you didn't trade your soul to the devil? No! You did, right? I prayed for you to come home. Huh? Roll up the window! Start the car! I can't find the keys! Oh. Lord, protect us! I repent! Oh, God, forgive me. Turn it off. Turn it off. Hey, everybody. Chip. Elsie. Milo, what's going on? Niles. Sterling, somebody tell me what's going on. I pretended to sell my soul to the devil to become like Hannah. So she could tell me how to reverse it so I could reverse it for her because years ago she did sell her soul to the devil to become famous. And then Milo came along and he tried to help me get my soul back and then we dropped the anointing on when we heard the devil and then we saw the light. This devil? Oh, oh, oh. Turn that off! It's not the devil, it's Bigfoot. What what smells like him? You know you're all out of your mind, right? I mean, I'm the only one who can see this. Yeah. I really did come here as a kid. And I prayed. Dear Lord. Anything to take me out. I'll here. give you anything to leave this place. I'll give you my life. Please. I need you to save me. And I remember a light. What light? I don't know. Are you a fae? <laughs> That's crazy! Don't you see? Oh. Oh. Hannah. Hannah, sweetheart! Please, Hannah! Don't go! Hannah, sweet! Lord, please help me! What is it? Hannah! Lord! Hannah! No! 
That's what we saw. You What Harris was always chasing. The light. He answered me. The last time he saw you. That's why he always loved those things. But what about your soul? Did you get it back? The devil can't take what we don't give him. Not by chance, spells, but by our life. It's about who we serve now in each moment. We show which God we follow by how we live, by what we do, how we love others. That's a, that's a sermon, Milo. Good evening, Nashville. All the way from Northern Michigan. Let's give a warm welcome for Elsie Howard. in the sky for millennia, trying to make sense of things beyond our capacity to know. Who's to say how God reveals himself to us? Like Elisha in the serpent, whose eyes were open to see the angels when no one else could. When someone sees something of the supernatural, they usually try to define it rationally. Things of the spiritual, cannot be defined in the mind. They only have meaning in the heart. That's what Harris, my daddy, loved about the search. A hint of the supernatural. A reminder that God does exist beyond our understanding beyond our fears, and beyond our failures. And still, most of you won't believe it until 